Hey guys, it's Natalie. I'm so sorry I didn't post yesterday for Funky Friday, but this is gonna be a makeup for what I did for the video that I didn't do yesterday. So since today is Saturday, I'm gonna be making something for you guys. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this fake icing, which you should not eat because it has dish soap inside and it could be very toxic. I made these red ones yesterday, last night, and you're supposed to let them dry out. And then I made the white ones today, and I just put the dried out red ones right on top of the white ones to make it like really nice and cute. So today I'm gonna show you how to make it. What you will need is some dish soap. Any kind will work. I use Joy. You will need some baking soda. You will need a mixer or just something to mix with. Also, you need a container or plate or bowl. And you need a small size Ziploc bag and a medium size. They can be the same, but since um, they are different, I was just going to use a small one to pipe it out. You also need a rubber band. So that's all the things you need, so let's get started. I'm going to put this down so that you can see. You're going to put at least 10 to 15 squirts of dish soap. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You can either do 11 or 12 or 13 or 14. I just wanted to do 15 because I do want to make a lot. Now, you can add food coloring at this part with the dish soap. Don't add it with when the baking soda is there because it will take a long time. I'm not going to add any food coloring because I just wanted to keep it nice and white like if it was vanilla frosting. Now add baking soda. If you didn't know, this is actually not enough of baking soda right now. I did spill some over here, but I'll clean that later. Now take your mixer or whatever you're using and just mix it. As you can tell, it's starting to like foam up into like a green kind of thing. Because, yeah. As you can see, there's a lot of dish soap and it's still very liquidy. This is the part where you add more baking soda. If it's too liquidy, then you add more baking soda. If it's too dry, like the texture of Play-Doh, then just add some more of the dish soap. Now just keep on mixing, and it is getting a lot better, getting thicker, but it's still very liquidy. Keep on mixing. I'm going to add just a tiny bit more baking soda so that it's not liquidy anymore. Okay. This should be good for now because it's getting to the texture of ice cream. Okay. So I'm just going to put it down here. Now scrape the rest of it onto one side. This is so liquidy, so I'm just going to add a tiny bit more baking soda. Like so. Now it's getting a lot better. If you add too much baking soda and, be, and it becomes inconsistency of Play-Doh, then just add like at least one pump of dish soap. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but it there's bubbles now, and that means that it is ready. Now that it's ready, scrape it all onto one side so it's easy to spoon into the Ziploc bag. Now take your small Ziploc bag and open it up, like so. And move this over. Okay. So, now take some of this and scoop it. Make sure it just flips off. Scoop it right into the Ziploc bag. And take your finger and just take it off. Now scoop. So 
some more. Like so. And scrape it off. Okay, this is the last spoonful. There. Perfect. Okay, so now let me just take that off since we got on there. Now put your plate to the side and put your bigger Ziploc bag here. But before you do that, you are going to close the Ziploc bag and take this and kind of press it so that it goes all the way to the corner. Now take some scissors, which I don't have, and I forgot to tell that you needed scissors, so I'll be right back and get them. Okay, so I'm back and I got the scissors. Now that you put it onto the corner, you want to tie it, so push it down and twist the top like so. And this is where your rubber band comes in handy so that all the frosting stays on the corner and it also pumps it out when you need some. So just tie it around like so. And then, since it's like this now, you want to take the edge and take your scissors and cut right on the tip. Whoa, this is very liquidy. I think I'm supposed to add a little bit more of the baking soda because this became a fail. Look how liquidy this is. Yep, I think I needed to add just a ton tiny bit more of that baking soda. Well, that was a fail. It's always a fail in my videos. Well, I think I know what I have to do now. Just add a little more baking soda. I might be actually doing another video like this with more baking soda, obviously. But thank you guys for watching this fail video. And try this at home, but remember to add more baking soda. This came out very liquidy, and it didn't turn out the way I wanted it. But things happen like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe and thumbs up. And this has been my longest video so far. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!